Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome everybody, Inbox Review. Now I'm not even going to go close to try and pronounce the name of this. I'm just going to call it the SS80 and it's a, tran a tank transporter uh, by Trumpeter. Alright, we'll kick off. It's Trumpeter, it's 135th scale. Now, the actual length of this is 527.23 millimeters when it is completed. Now, I don't know if that's the base or the actual vehicle itself. We'll have to find out. Now, the width of it is uh, 89.6 millimeters wide and the part count is 311 parts so not a great deal of parts in here now hang on i just need to turn the volume down because we're getting an echo there we go that's better we'll turn the volume down sorry about that i had to turn the volume down i was getting a bit of an echo now on the box we've got some nice little drawings of what it should look like when it's finished uh normal guff that side and just uh Telling you about how many 80, I suppose it carried 80 tons. Ah, that's the reason why they call it the 80. It's the SSYMS 80 ton. It was used for transporting armor, so that's what it was used for. Okay, uh, now these particular kits, for some strange reason, there's not a great deal to them, but they're expensive. Now, I picked this one up from Model Hobby and I think it was £68. A lot of money. They are going, they are knocking around there for 70s and 80s. Stupid prices. So, I mean, if you're in the market for one of these and you see one at a sensible price, grab it. Because you're, you're, the minimum you're going to pay is about £70. That's my little gripe about the price, but there you go. Moving on, we'll open the box and we'll see what we can, what we've actually got. Okay, we've got a workshop manual and also inside we've got a nice uh, colour guide and colour call out, paint call out. We have one pack here with the tracks and sleepers, well I think it's more the sleepers, yes it is, it's all the sleepers in there, very nice, oh and some of the tracks and by the look of it they've uh, done a little bit of protection. I think they should do at the price. We have there a set of uh, decals, decals, transfers, or stickers, which we'll have a look at closer later. Now, we have a box with the actual bedding, which I won't bother getting out. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws all together all nicely packaged up and one box with the actual uh, bedding now we've had a look how it's all laid out in the box i should put you on pause uh, we'll have a look at the workshop manual and then we'll go for the parts okay we'll start with a quick look at the destruction book or workshop manual uh in a booklet form which i do like uh normal safety hints and tips and tools and what to glue and what not to glue symbols on the front and onto the first page we have nice sorry about the glare there a, a painting guide there uh, to how it should look which is very nice it's also got the colour call outs in uh, Mr Hobby, Vallejo, uh, Model Master, Tamir and humble uh, not many colors uh, flat gray uh, I think that's steel black and wood brown so you have got a couple there you've only got one with a Tamiya and that's the XF 22 and the rest of them it, it's blank the one that you have got all of them with is Vallejo uh, they do all the Vallejo and all the Mr. Hobby. Uh, Model Master, there's only two there. So, and the Humble, 
you've only got two as well. So they're giving you a, uh, a choice of manufacturers. Now, enough of that. Uh, on to the workshop manual. First page, we've got a sprue layout uh, showing you what you've got, all n nicely numbered up for reference back. Uh, the first page, we've got the assembly of the bed and the, putting the sleepers through. I won't be using them because I've already built one of these and they there's a lot of work involved. As you can see, there's all different sections that you join together. And to actually get a nice finish, it's forever sanding. And also, you've really got to get them glued together properly because the slightest movement there uh, cracks your filler. It is a nightmare. This time, I shall be going with the sleepers directly onto a board, and then I'm going to be using uh, 135 scale ballast, and I'm going to be using the uh, uh, ballast magic, I think they call it. You mix it with it, spray some water on it, it sets. Brilliant stuff. So that's what I'll be using. But if you are going to use the base, uh, be prepared for quite a bit of work on getting that base uh, looking anything nice. So that's the uh, sleepers and the bed assembly. Uh, moving on, they're just showing you how to slide the tracks in and the joiners. I have to I have to say that the tracks and the sleepers, they are really nice. They really do come up nice. Nice wood grain on the actual sleepers, but we'll have a look at the parts and you can see for yourself. Moving across, right, uh, the assembly of the running gear. There's three bogies on each part of this running gear. So we've got two two sections, one at the front, one at the back. Uh, six wheels all together. And it's just showing you the assembly of that bit. We ain't gonna linger too long. Uh, brakes all going on the running gear as well. Uh, moving across, it's just final finishing uh, the pivot that goes on the actual uh, bed so it can actually move. The assembly of the uh, buffers and uh, couplings. And then we move on part six. Now this is done in two halves. You assemble uh, two halves with the, uh, with the bow gear, with, with the running gear, and then you actually join them together. So we've got the assembly here, uh, the buffers going on. And then we go over to the next page, as you can see, the two halves are joined together uh, to make the hole. Uh, these uh, posts going in, it does say optional because uh, I'm pleased to say that because uh, if you put a tiger on there, a tiger would sit well over the edge of this uh, transporter so that them posts wouldn't uh, stay there long, not with a tiger crawling over the top of it anyway. So they're optional uh, to put on. And then we move on. Now this is the ramp that actually sits on the back. Now, I ain't be putting this, because I'll be doing quite a few of these, and I won't be putting the ramp on every one. I'll probably just put one on the end, because they would have loaded from one end and just uh, driven the vehicles right the way along, and then driven them off again. So we won't be needing the ramp on every single one of them. But the ramp there is is there as an option. Uh, this is the assembly of the bottom half of the ramp because there's two parts to it. We've got the actual ramp itself that sits down onto the tracks. Uh, we've actually got the stand that sits on top of the tracks supporting it. And then the final bit sits on the actual deck of the transporter should I say. So that's the assembly of it and the final bit is just showing you with the ramp down and with no ramp at all. Option of these bits that go across I would just say they're, I don't know what they're for, somebody might be able to tell me, I haven't got a clue. I, I started to gen up on, on railway stuff but not a hundred percent. So that is the workshop manual, so what we'll do now, we'll move on and we'll have a look closer look at the parts. Okay, we'll kick off with and we'll have a look at the rail bed. Now the rail bed I personally am not going to use. 
Uh, as I explained, there's too many bits and I've not opened them. Oh god, let's, uh, let's find something to open them with. And I will try and sort of show you. I mean, they're beautifully made, don't get me wrong. They are absolutely beautifully made. And they interlock really nicely, like so. But if we don't get this all lined up, like so. If you don't get that all glued together, it's these seam lines. You really have a hard job getting rid of them. And if you haven't really got a good fix set, the slightest movement cracks them open. And the other issue I found with these was when I actually put the sleepers through, some of them didn't quite sit through nice and neatly. And so when you actually come to slide the rails through, you had to sort of like try and lift them and bend them and it just really sent me do lally because I'd spent a long time uh, getting the base done, spent a lot long time getting all the different shadows on the uh, uh, ballast, spent a long time painting and weathering the actual sleepers and the rails and then you're, you're trying to sort of you know bend and move things about so I won't be personally using these type this, these this time, and as well as you can see there, look, I mean it's not a 100% uh, true fit. So you've got to feel, you know, you've got to muck about. I'm personally going this time on a flat board, uh, put the sleepers and the rails straight down on top of that, and I'm going to use ballast and uh, ballast magic. I think is by Deluxe Materials. So. That is the uh, sleepers, uh, not sleepers, the rail bed that I'm not going to use, but I thought I'd just show you that. Okay, the next one we move on to is the sleepers and the railway line. It comes uh, nicely protected with this foam. Now, I did say to you earlier on that these are really are nice sleepers. They, there's got plenty of wood grain in them. They look really good. The tracks they are absolutely lovely I really uh, like the tracks even these fixings that actually fix the tracks together really make it look authentic uh, which I'm really pleased about so this time I will be just cutting these off uh, last time I had to cut each individual one off and glue it in but this time I'm just going to glue that directly to a base put my lines in and be done then just put my ballast in between but some re extremely nice parts. Trumpeter always do nice parts. Uh, there's no flash. Everything is nice and clean and crisp. Got no complaints. Now you do get, uh, in this particular one, you get two sprues uh, of tracks and rails. You always get a little bit extra as well. So that's always a bonus. So that's the sleepers. On to the next sprue. Okay, we start with uh, sprue D, and this contains most of the bits for the actual ramp. Uh, I ain't going to name them, uh, but I'll just run through them so you can actually see that they all are nice and clean and crisp. Uh, the checker plate is, it's got checker plate on it, like it should have. There's not a lot you can actually say about uh, trumpeter parts because trumpeter parts, I've never had any problems with trumpeter parts. They've always been a lovely kit to build. Uh, never no complaints. Uh, on the back side, all the things like the injector mark pins are at the back where they're not going to be seen. All in all, nice and clean, nice and tidy. So we'll move on to the next sprue. Okay, the next sprue is sprue B. Now there's two of these sprues, and these sprues contain mainly the actual bed, and the buffers, and there's like the swivel plate for the actual bed. Not a great deal to look at because it's just a framework. Uh, the buffers, the end piece. Now, 
We've got these parts here. I think they're they're just for the actual swivel, and we've actually got the bed itself. Now it's uh, nicely wood grained. It will come up with a wash, and I was just out of sure interest. I got a, 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 a ruler here. Now the length of each one of these beds is what uh, 167. So that's not going to be. What did they say on the box? 500. 570 summit. So uh, that's going to be what? Just over. Well, I need to better get two vehicles on that. One vehicle. There we go. Might be able to get one vehicle on that at a push. That is the actual vehicles that I'll be actually using. So just get two on. Alright, okay. Well, that's a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a downfall, but there you go. So. That's the bed, nicely detailed uh, as a bed can be. Nothing to really see underneath. We have two of them sprues. I won't, I won't bother showing you both of them because they're both identical. And uh, onto the next sprue. Now the next sprue is uh, sprue C, and there's two of these as well. And these are the sides of the actual flat bed. Uh, not a lot to see really. Uh, we've got both sides there, and then we've got uh, the brakes, hooks, and all of the little bits and pieces there. No flash, all nice and clean, and nicely detailed. That is about as much as I can say. I'll just show you around the parts so you can see what's what. So that's sprucey, moving on to the next okay, one. Okay, moving on to sprue A. I don't know if I said uh, the last sprue we did, well, I think it was C, there is two of them. And sprue A, there is four of these and this mainly contains, these contain all the lower uh, running gear. So we've got the side plates, we've got the brakes, we have uh, all the suspension, uh, the end boxes, wheels, uh, the axles which are across here we've got the axles they're all in one piece the axles so there's not going to be no well just where the sprue gates come in just a little bit of clean up there nice <coughs> excuse me turn that over uh, that's the inside of the uh, I, I keep calling it the R bogey bogey but I I suppose that's called just called the running gear isn't it because the bogeys are, are the wheels so uh, but correct me, please, if I'm wrong. Uh, the right termination, the right word, should I say, for these uh, lower running gear. I'm going to call it running gear. So, uh, they're the oil boxes, they're the ends. Uh, is that here? Yeah, because they're the oil boxes as well. So then, but let's go on to there. We will find that all out. But all nice and clean. There's no flash. There's nothing, everything is well. Oh, god, we found a little bit. Look, a little bit of flash just there. I shall have to complain to Trumpeter, but that is absolutely lovely, no problems at all. Now, that's all the sprues. There's no point in me because there's four of these all together, so there's no point in me running through all of them. I've had a look, there's no flash, there's they're all the same. So We'll move on and we'll take a look at the... Okay, levels. you're just going to have to bear with me a second now. I've dropped the camera down as low as I can, can and I've altered as much on the camera as I possibly can so you can actually see the decals, decals, transfers or stickers because they are all in white and they're very difficult to see. So I'll just run through them. Now, there's not a great deal of carrier film on them, which is a good thing. Uh, a lot of it's just warning signs and bits and pieces like that. But they are important to actually make this little uh, flatbed look the part. So there's all your warning signs and bits and pieces. And that's it for the decals. 
Okay, we're back up to normal height. I'll just put that in there for something for you to look at. Just while I say goodbye and say thank you for joining me, uh, having to look through this little kit. There is other kits on the way very, very soon. Uh, so until then, thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we will see you on the next one.